Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Alicia. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be doing a skincare routine. I've gone a long way in my skincare journey. Um, if you know me, you know that in grade 9, in grade, in grade 10, it probably wasn't like as bad as a, as a lot of people, but to me it was really bad. Because, you know, you just go from before just having really good, smooth, soft skin to just one day just boom. Just boom, you know? Um, I went through a lot of different skincare products to figure out which ones, which, um, to figure out which ones worked for me. Everybody's skin is different, so these products might not work the best for you, but they work really good for me. I do suggest trying them though, because that's like how I found them was going, like watching different videos to see how they work. So we're gonna have to go through different products to figure out which ones work best for you. They're not all gonna work. You'll find it eventually. So the products that I use, it depends on the day and how I'm feeling. If, my, if I feel like my skin is just really acting up, I will use this African Black Soap. It looks really nasty. It comes in like a plastic wrap, but I take the plastic wrap off and put it in a Ziploc because it doesn't reseal. But it's just, you could get it from your local beauty supply store. It's $3, most at most like $5. Don't get like the ones that are just straight black. Like get the ones that are brown with like different spots and stuff in it because those ones are the real natural ones. Actual black soap is not actually black. It's brown. This soap right here. I use this as my regular daily wash. It's almost done. I use, um, it's called Dr. Bronner's um, 1801 Tea Tree Pure Castile Soap. I have like the three different scents of this. I love this soap, um, but I use a tea tree one for my face. When you use it, you can tell your skin is clean. Like it gets everything out of your skin. I'm not too sure where else you can get it, but I get it from Healthy Planet. It's like $10 for the small bottle. And I'm pretty sure it's like 15 or something for the bigger bottle. So I use that as my daily wash, but whenever I feel like my skin is just really active, up i use the african black soap then when i'm done washing my face i use witch hazel as a toner a regular witch hazel like it doesn't have to be anything special i know some people use that the one that's like it's a cute little packaging thing but it's like 15 dollars for the small little bottle and it's literally the same thing as that except it has like oils and stuff in it if you really want the oils put the oils in it yourself i used to buy that old one it worked well but i was like there's no point in me spending 15 dollars on this one it's literally the same thing as this and it didn't make like it the the oils didn't make a big difference to my skin. After I use the witch hazel, I use this. This is Fenty Skin, um, the fat water. It's pore refining toner serum. So after my toner, I use the toner serum. I don't know if that's a bad thing or like whatever, but it works for me. I actually just recently got this like uh three months ago. To like when it first came out, that's when I got it. You can't get this in the store anywhere. You have to order it off of her website, uh, the Fenty website. It was we're not gonna talk about how expensive it was. This is the only product that I use that has I want to say chemicals. I mean, it's not really. This is the only product I use that's not all natural. Usually, the ones that are not all natural are the most expensive products. Um, so this one was. With shipping and tax and everything, it was like 40 something, almost 50 bucks, but it works really well. After a month, you could tell my skin my skin looked tighter and just put together and everything. So I definitely like this. I got it because I wanted to support my girl Rihanna. You know, I do be, I do be loving Rihanna. I did get it because of that, but it does work really well. Lastly, I just use Shea Butter as my moisturizer. This, one of, ow! One of these was like five dollars. You could get this from the beauty supply store. If you have like an African shop near you, you could probably get it from there. Um, but I got this from the beauty supply store, I think. Um, it was like five dollars. There's bigger and smaller containers. Um, but it's really not expensive depending on like how big the container is that you get. But it just looks like this. It's just regular shea butter. Yeah, so this is what I use my moisturizer. I used to use, um, what did I used to use? I used to use, um, like that Cetaphil cream. I used to use this face wash and then the Cetaphil cream, but girl, let me tell you something, right? These brands right here with all the chemicals in them, disregard the fact that I have a product with chemical. It's really not like, her products, if you really read the ingredients, the products are really not all that bad. Like it's, there's even witch hazel water, there's water, there's, um radish root there's all these like she has a lot of natural products in here okay so it's not all just chemicals 
Girl, it's a good product. I noticed that with products like these, like Cetaphil, um, one of those other brands called something, girl, Proactive, Clear, Clean and Clear, whatever those ones are that you, the ones that you go to Shoppers Drug Mart and you're like, hey, I need something to clean my skin. And you just go grab those ones. For me personally, they never work. And I think it was because my skin just works better with natural products. I tried almost, if you go into Shoppers Drug Mart, you go to the skincare products. I tried almost every product in there. And some of them worked better than others, but none of them really like cleared my skin. Like I used to have really, really bad forehead um, acne. I used to have really bad cheek acne. None of those products really helped me. And I noticed that the natural products help a lot better than those ones. I also um, noticed that, girl, let me go put on a shirt. I'm here just exposing myself for what? Anyways, I also noticed, now I just look like a boy. I also noticed that with those products, like the chemical products, you can use them and maybe they work really well for your skin and then as soon as you stop using them, your skin just goes... Like, it all just starts to come back. And you're like, well, what happened? It's because you stopped using the product. And that's what they do. This is how they sell their product, right? This is how they sell their product. They'll say, yeah, use this, it gets you clean skin, da 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 And... Then you'll start to use it and maybe you'll be like, yeah, okay, this is really working. You know, I got my clear skin. I don't need to use it no more. I mean, I don't really know why you would think that because you still need to clean your skin. But you got your clear skin. You don't need to use it no more. Or there's a different product that you want to try, right? As soon as you stop using that. And it's because of the formula they use and the chemicals. You need it in your skin now. Your skin is depending on it. So now it's like, oh, girl, you need to go back. You need to go back because I don't know what you thought you was doing when you said you were going to stop using them. But you need to start, you, you need to keep using them because now my, you're, you're, now I need it. Now you, now I need it. So you need to go back and get it because now I need it. And that's how they sell their products. That's how they make their money. Anyways, girl, this is not no... I don't know why I think this is, but I don't know if I want to do a voiceover or not because voices are. Vo vo I don't know if I want to do a voiceover or not because voiceovers are kind of like irritating. Um, but I think I will. I think I will because I don't know if I want to talk with soap on my face, like you know, before I get it um, in my mouth. But you know what? I can't lie, I've gotten this soap in my mouth before, and it don't taste nasty. It doesn't, let me stop, because it's really over here exposing me, so. Before they like, so you're over here eating soap. That's your snack. That's what we do now. So, we start off by wetting our face, you know, getting every last part of our face wet, and we're going to pretend like we're in a commercial, because that's just how we are, this is how we do. Honestly, somebody should just put me in a commercial because I did that so great. Nobody can lie to me. Then we're going to go in with our um, Dr. Bronner's Tea Tree um, Castor, ca ca girl, cast out soap, okay? The one that I told you about before. We're going to rub that in, in our skin for one minute. Um, I mean, I don't really put on a timer, but it's one minute in my head. So, going to make sure you get in every creasing crevice of your face make sure you get it on your neck um you know just just get it everywhere because you really want to make sure your skin is nice and clean don't get it in your eye though because i almost did that and girl it burns don't do that don't do it Now we're gonna wash off our face with some water. We're gonna use like warm, lukewarm, but kind of cold, you know, in the middle type of water because you don't want it to be too hot, but you don't want it to be too cold. So we're gonna use that perfect temperature water. We're gonna take that all, all off of our faces. Make sure you don't get it in your eye because like I said before, it burns, girl. If you see my little edges, you see how it's, <laughs> you see, girl. Hey, we're done. And we're in a commercial again, period. Somebody hire me. So now I'm just gonna dry off my hands because you know, when you're washing your face, it's just a puddle of water now on the floor from it dripping down your arms. 
so you want to dry that off now we're going to go in with the cotton pad we're going to put some witch hazel on her and we're going to wipe our faces down with that you want to make sure that um you're getting in all of the creases and crevices of your face because you want to get every last bit of your face get just just get in there make sure it's clean because let me tell you with this witch hazel what it does it takes off anything that the soap didn't take off because you usually think that your skin is just clean right after you wash your face but girl let me tell you the soap's not taking off everything the soap's not taking off everything this witch hazel takes off everything let me tell you that it takes off every last bit of it and you will see in this cloth that i'm about to show you i'm not dirty this is it, it's honey. just the way that it works okay i promise i'm not dirty so you guys i completely forgot to tell you guys about this tea tree oil i use this on any blemishes that pop up on my face girl this works miracles i'm telling you overnight overnight you put that wherever you have a blemish and the next day you wake up, it's gone like it was never there. I'm telling you, it works miracles. This or lemon essential oil, those two things will make anything just disappear like it was never there. I promise you, because it works in miracles for me, girl. Miracles. Then I'm just going to go in with my uh, fat water from Fenty. I'm gonna put just a tad bit on my hand and rub that into my skin. It makes your skin feel like plump and voluptuous, you know? Just very nice and soft and smooth. So I put that all over my skin. Make sure you put it on your neck. Whenever you rub anything into your neck, make sure that you're going in an upwards, mo upwards motion and not a downwards motion because downwards motions will cause um, wrinkles. Okay, so this is the last step. So all I'm gonna do is get some shea butter on the end of my nail as you can see. I'm gonna rub that in to my hands and then I'm gonna rub that into my face. Obviously you're not gonna rub it all the way into your hands because you need to rub it into your face. Always make sure your hands are clean because you are using your hands to put these products on your face. But all I'm gonna do is rub that nicely into my face, all these pieces and crevices that you need to get into. And you're gonna go upward motions on your neck and then we're done! shiny my nose is now okay guys so that's basically it for my whole um routine and then after this i just go about my day and then i do this again at night i love doing this in the morning because the tea tree oil just makes my skin feel like it's doing some work it's just great it's like a tingling you know it's nice so then i just go throughout my day and i definitely suggest that you wash your face in the morning and at night because you're sleeping and maybe you're sweating at night collecting dirt or whatever you definitely just just wash your face in the morning because if you're only washing your face at night and you're not noticing a difference you probably need to wash your face in the morning they say wash your face twice a day avoid your face avoid touching your face change your pillowcases so that like when you're rolling around in your pillowcase maybe your hair is touching it whatever there could be dirt on your pillowcase so you want to wash your face in the morning and you also want to change your pillowcase you know just it's really basic like common sense things that you don't really think about until you're like oh yeah that makes sense hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i have been away for a very long time but it's not because i don't want to be doing youtube it's only just because i've just been trying to do youtube in school and um i have a business with my sister that i'm also trying to do so then i'm juggling a lot at one time but i'm trying um i also have been filming but a lot of the videos that i've been filming i just haven't liked and i don't want to post anything that i wouldn't want to watch on my own so i haven't been posting those because i just haven't been turning out as well as i have as i would have liked them but there'll definitely be more videos coming soon i have this one maybe i'll do another hair video maybe i, I don't know i'm just i'm just gonna kind of post as i go but that's why i changed my schedule to not every tuesday it's just kind of whatever i know that's not probably how you're supposed to do it you're definitely supposed to have a schedule i am trying i just have a lot of things to do yeah i do want to take youtube seriously so i really am trying i feel like i really look like a boy and I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Um, and yeah, bye.